teaching is more than what you think. This video will show you how this class can help you in many aspects of your life. If you're like most people, you're probably feeling a little or maybe a lot anxious about this class. For some, public speaking is scarier than death. This class is built to help you tackle this fear, but our goal isn't only to give you the courage to speak in front of your peers. By the end of this class, you will have developed new skills necessary in your civic life, your job search, and your future relationship su success. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, Democracy cannot succeed unless those who express their choice are prepared to choose wisely. The real safeguard of democracy, therefore, is education. This class is part of that education that will help you perform your civic duty as a member of a democratic country. Your number one civic duty is to vote. Use this class as an opportunity to explore issues that you'd like to know more about. Maybe you think you're interested in the issue of immigration, but you're not sure what your position is on the issue. Choose an aspect of this issue to focus on during one of your speeches. This newfound knowledge on the issue may lead you to do more than vote, including attend protests, debate the issue with friends and family, and possibly speak in front of a crowd who want to hear your perspective on immigration. While researching your interests, you are faced with many types of media sources. You have Facebook, Wikipedia, newspapers, online resources, and many other options to get your information. We will help you evaluate these sources and be sure you aren't tricked into believing weak arguments. Public speaking will also help you in your future career. Now, some of you might think that experience is the key to obtaining your ideal job. Of course, experience helps but in interviews with more than 50 different types of employers, New York Times journalist Adam Bryant found this is not always the most important quality. Employers look for qualities like fearlessness, confidence, teamwork smarts, passionate curiosity, and conciseness. As Adam Bryant said in a 2011 New York Times article, these qualities are developed through attitude, habit, and discipline, factors that are within your control. Public speaking will help you control them. Confidence and fearlessness are two of these qualities. You have to be willing to look in the mirror and see the lion, just like this cat. Constructive criticism from your instructor and peers will help you feel more confident and will also help you develop a thick skin that makes you okay with failure every once in a while. Your classroom is a community. You will notice quickly that this class fosters a unique environment for friendship development. As with life, you won't always agree with everyone, but learning how to listen to other ideas that aren't congruent with your own will develop important teamwork skills. This diverse classroom may also help you develop a passionate curiosity, allowing you to see how important it is to come at something with an open mind. The final quality discussed in the article is conciseness. Some believe that delivering a complicated speech or report will impress employees or an instructor, but Bryant found this to be untrue. Employers have a limited time in every day, so if you can explain something in simple terms in a short amount of time, most will be impressed. We will help you achieve this in your speech, as well as with the use of visual aids like PowerPoint. Finally, this class will be useful in building better relationships. You'll learn to be a better listener, more open to other points of view. More importantly to some of you, you will learn how to persuade people in a more effective way. When you're with your friends, do you always have to get greasy fast food even though you'd rather go the healthy route? Or maybe it's the other way around, but either way, you will learn to make a more effective argument for your side of the issue. The two words information and communication are often used interchangeably, but they signify quite different things. Information is giving out. Communication is getting through. Your public speaking instructor is here to help you get through. Of course, None of this can happen without an effort from you. If you want these benefits for your future, you should come to class on time prepared to be an active participant in the discussion.